Hey guys, this is Vril, continuing our Crusader Kings 2 playthrough as House Evering. We started as the tribe of Sudarear, and we are now the Kingdom of Scotland. So we actually have a prepared invasion planned on Poes here, who has a few provinces or counties that we actually have claims on already, but I just thought I'd wait and do that with the prepared invasion if we can. And we'll see if we get anybody to actually join us. We've got about two years for till that'll actually fire off. We're probably going to try and subjugate everybody else that's part of Scotland here, but I'm kind of just waiting for these wars to end. So I went ahead and declared war on a county over here in, uh, in Ireland. I was about to say Scotland, but in Ireland. So I think kind of our one of our next goals is, I mean, our goals in this playthrough were to take over all of Britannia. I don't know if this is going to be possible, but, you know, we'll... We're giving it a try. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll start moving my army on over here. And I've actually got... I'm in hiding right now because the guy's trying to assassinate me. I know that's pretty weak of me, but... I wasn't really all that good anyway. So I might as well just be in hiding while we do all this. I do have pretty good... And I was just going to say, I do have pretty good statistics. But apparently I just died after a period of illness. So long live King Ivar. So this is, uh, <laughs> your, yeah, our invasion plans against Poas are no longer possible. The invasion has failed before it even started. So that's <laughs> really amusing, I have to say. So this guy's quite a bit better. King Ivar of Scotland. The name of our... I guess it's our grandfather at this point in time. He is depressed, though, so that's unfortunate. Let's see. He wants to amass wealth. I think I'm going to cancel that ambition. And so I have a new heir, Barad Ivarsan, or is that... No, Bork? Borkford. Okay. So we only have Sudriar and Fief and Argyle. And our army just went down quite quite a bit. Let's see what we've got here. We lost a few provinces, which I'm kind of surprised about here. I wonder if we can just subjugate this guy. Can't even offer him vassalization. Is that not part of the de jure part of Scotland? It is, so I'm not sure about that. So let's uh, go ahead and do this war. I hope this guy didn't have all that many Troops, he sort of does. Let's see what kind of levies we can raise. We'll see what we can do here. So we do have dangerous factions. This is actually down in East Anglia. This is the guy that was actually trying to kill my father and why I was in hiding. I think if he does bring up the whole independence movement, I probably will allow it. I don't want to fight a war against him all the way down there in East Anglia. So I have a new heir. Jedford, my cousin, okay. I guess I do need to actually elect somebody. Who are my sons here, and how old are they? Seven years old. He's kind. What about my other one here? He is only four years old. I'm still... Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and... Let's just have a look at here. Who would be the best, like, military, for instance? I would want to keep somebody that's young, though. But yeah, I guess this Jedford guy's decent. I, I don't plan on dying too quickly here. So East Anglia, Strathclyde. We can create a bunch of duchies. we will go ahead. Do I hold any duchy titles? Kingdom Jarldom of Northumberland. I don't actually have anything in Northumberland, but yeah, I have the Jarldom. Let's see what we can do. I'll just not do any of that at the moment and just worry about this war. How about that? Okay, so a bunch of usurping of titles going on there. And I wonder if this guy has any allies. He does have one guy in Cornwall. Yeah, we did, did kind of know about that. So a preacher from King Louis of Aquitaine has arrived and... We will, of course, throw him in jail, like we do. 
So these guys are trying to get around over here, but we'll try to take out their army. Do have... I'm leading the army. Let's put him on the larger group here. Carl here is pretty good. wonder what my vassals actually think about me. Let's have a look here what our opinions are, but the Catholics hate me. Kettle. He's not Catholic. He's a Norse. He doesn't really like me all that much. Well, if the Cruel has declared the conquest of Galandinia. I don't think I even said that right. Galindia. And, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that, so... Wait for these guys to cross, and then we'll go ahead and take them out, and then we'll go siege their lands. Took a little bit longer than I expected. Didn't take any much losses. I thought we, took, we were taking a little bit more losses than we took there, so we took out their army, and we'll go siege them. So... Dangerous factions. Nothing too much to worry about. So, feuding between Karl of Katanas and Count Burgred of the Seducer. That's the guy who's trying to usurp me. <laughs> of course, I will say that this isn't even the Karl. Okay, no, it is the Karl I'm thinking of. This guy, Burgred the Seducer. Karl is right. I will, of course, say Karl is right. I like Carl. I increased my stewardship. So that's pretty good. My my character is pretty good. What was his? Yeah, his prestige. Okay, his prestige is a little low. Of course, his wealth is high because he inherited all that. But we should do pretty good. He is uh, the military leader, so he should be gaining some prestige through all this sieging and all of that. Let's see if we can siege this out for they can siege anything of ours. We are starting to build some garrisons back, it looks like. So that's good. And we should be able to siege this down. What happened here? Okay, we took... That isn't the guy we're actually fighting. Okay, no, it's not. Took him. Prisoner. And we have Henry of the Catholic Uprising of uh, in Scotland. Those accursed infidels, that's gonna be tough to deal with. My father could have dealt with that because he had the tribal armies. It's gonna be a pain. We might need to hire some mercenaries, is my thought. Okay, how do we... Okay, I thought we... I think we are actually have to... Yeah, this guy actually has two provinces. So, did they siege anything there? Yes, they did. Okay. So we're sieging down this, this temple, Bishopric, and we'll do that, and then I'm going to go take out the army, and then I think, think we'll be, okay, we actually are already at 100%. So go ahead and do that, enforce our demands, get a little bit of prestige doing all that, Sort the title. Okay, and we'll need to give out the temple to a Norse guy, hopefully. We've got a child that needs a guardian, Sigtrig, Ivar's son. Guess we'll put... I think we'll put this guy who's a... even though he's a hedonist. Well, he has really high diplomacy, so that's pretty good. Although, here's uh, Carl down here. He has pretty good stats, so I, I like Carl here. Let's go ahead and have him educate my son. What about my other son here? He's being educated by somebody, I would assume. He is being educated by Thordis. She has good diplomacy. Not very good martial. Let's have... I always like to do the marshal. I like that Carl guy, so let's have him educate as well. If he can. Carl. I love that he has the adventurer trait. I don't see that very often. 
And we can call some allies, I think. Okay, this is... That might be for the war we just ended. So... How should we deal with this? Can we raise anybody more? I think we're going to need to call a bunch of guys to help us out here. Queen, this is my wife, can be righteously imprisoned, apparently. Might go ahead and do that. She fled to the court of Jarl Col Colbjorn. Okay. So, so much for 73% chance. She's a yingling. I might have not have been a good idea to do that. But, yeah, she is from the house yingling. It's not like she's uh, from just the court there. Okay, better steward than Godi Freerick. Better steward, so he's only six, and... Wow, these guys both suck. Uh, I guess you'll be better? Those guys are both horrible. Let's see if we can... Yeah, so I've got some allies now. I'm surprised over here. I think this is like the province of county of Dublin, so... Historic Dublin. Alright, so we have a opportunity to have the new ambition. Not really anything good. I guess I can have a daughter. <laughs> and I'm... This is my wife, but she's actually fled the kingdom, so we shouldn't be having any more kids. That was kind of the thought there, was if I put her in prison, so it's just as good, unless she's plotting to get me back in some way. I was just thinking to put her in prison so I wouldn't have any possible chance to have children with her. I already had two boys, and we know how uh, much gavel can, can be a problem, so I thought that was a good idea. Okay, we'll go ahead and attack this group here, and if we can take this one out, we should be okay. Yeah, on this revolt. I think we're good. So raving mob of Catholic infidels has risen up again. Uh-oh. That's not good. But they probably have no morale. Uh, we discover immersing legendary, we discover plot where Jarl Eriker of Lothian seeks to kill uh, Guthorder or something like that of Gowrie. Let's see what's going on here. In our intrigue, so this is my half brother wants to kill my other half brother. I think I'll just let that be. And uh, we're gonna deal with that other guy down in East Anglia here shortly. We will take care of him shortly. It's a good thing we had these allies. Good thing. 97%, almost done. So... Carl... I think Carl just got killed, or he's incapable. He probably got knocked over the head. In battle there, because I think we, was he a leader? That's unfortunate. <laughs> I liked Carl. I led him to his, uh, led him into his fate. I think. Yeah. So Carl, there is no character there. So I think Carl was one of our leaders there, and he got clubbed over the head and became incapable. So we'll need to choose a new commander, and then because we need that new commander, we will. So we'll have Kettle. I like Kettle. This is the guy that my other brother is trying to kill. So yeah, we'll have Kettle do that. Does that do anything? Yeah, his opinion... I wasn't sure if the setting the commanders uh, helps with opinion. I kind of assumed it did, but I wasn't 100% sure. So let's educate with somebody else that is a good military leader, like Kettle here. He's a misguided warrior, though. How about Jedford? Yeah, he's pretty good. Horrible intrigue, though. I guess I could educate them myself if I wanted. This guy's got, uh, the guy that's trying to be killed. He's got pretty good all-around 
uh, statistics, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that with him. And I guess this guy, I'll pick somebody else. Let's do, let's do him myself, and yeah, okay. And we, I think we're, okay, we had this army to follow these Catholics that were killing him off, and then we, sh nope, we're not quite 200%. Should be shortly, though. Wow, these guys. I mean, we're up to 100% morale, so I don't know what the deal is. Independence factions growing quite large. Alright, these guys are finally 100%. I was gonna say he had a bunch of allies. No, he didn't, because that was me. 100 prestige, 200 piety. We gain that hundred gold? No, we don't. Okay, so we defeated those insurgents. And we should have this, like I said, righteous imprisonment. Well, we don't anymore. Okay, and these guys down here, although we're putting them away now, it looks like. Yeah, looks like we are putting them away. Okay, well. Now that we're not doing that, why won't these guys want to be my vassal? Power, small difference in rank. These guys also don't like me. Ambitious. End plot. Uh, let's see here. So what about Frederick? He likes me more. How about... Where's our intrigue at? It's only four. What about you guys here? You're all the way in Wales, and these guys are too. These guys... Okay, these are still under Eric of Lothian, so... He has higher intrigue than we do. I wonder, though, what would he be... Yeah, plot power is not good. Okay, we could... What was his army like, though? I mean, we just did this, and previously we subjugated somebody there. So his army is only 98, and this is the guy that we're talking about, right? We can't declare war on him. Holds none of your close relatives hostage. Okay. We don't, can't even do a subjugation war on him? I'm not sure why that would be. Okay, maybe... let's see... East Anglia... Galloway... It's looking at duchies we could get... I'm gonna go ahead and create this one. Jarldom of Al Albany. Dangerous factions... We're just going to have to wait for that to see what happens there. We, How many prisoners do we have to hold a great blot? Do we have any? Yes, we do. We've got... Let's see if we can... We could ransom these guys. I'm not going to ransom that guy, though. What about Barrett here? Yeah, I will ransom this guy. Jedverson. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and do a... This was my cousin pay, uh, paid me for that. So again, this guy just got out of jail. It's a bastard, he's ill. That, that isn't actually the guy that just got out of jail, I don't think, anyway. We'll just... It's not our kid, so I'll just go ahead and educate him to somebody. So, oh yeah, what was I, I was thinking, what was I just about to do? I was going to do a great blot. Okay, can hardly wait. And of course, Burgred, our Burgred the Seducer, I'm surprised. He would, if he only knew how good this great blot was, he would be here. Okay. Kill the, kill off these Catholics, and Borkvord is nowhere to be seen. You can always find him in the courtyard playing with his sword and press practicing his sword fighting with older men. 
older men part is a little worrying, but this will turn him into a great knight. He gained the diligent trait. So he's not my heir or anything like that. And yeah, Borkvord, okay. So the feast is over, let the celebrations begin. Okay, I do think we're going to go ahead and do like we were planning with my father. 2,500 levies to do... We can't do a prepared invasion. Oh, because I don't have the 500 prestige. Just have at least 1,000 prestige. And can't afford to lose 500 prestige. Okay. So let's go ahead and declare war on this. Hmm, he is, uh, yeah, we, we knew about that. He was friends with the Carlings there. I think we'll go ahead and declare war on this guy then. Bring a conquest, and we'll just build some prestige by doing that. I should have checked. Yeah, so he's got 500 levies. He's got... This guy probably won't like me too much if I keep asking him to help join my cause, so I won't do that. I want to... Well, I can't subjugate him. For whatever reason, I'm not sure. So we'll raise these levies. Surprised we actually have levies over here. Let's meet up in this, and then we'll go on over. See, so yeah, our morale of our armies is up because of that great blot as well. We'll merge these guys up. And it does look like we're out of time for this episode, so thanks for watching, and we'll continue this war in the next episode. See you guys soon.